Good day, everybody. Today we are going to talk about another application of central limit theorem. So I'll share my computer screen with you. Mean age of tablet users is 35 years with a standard deviation of 10 years. A sample of size n equal to 39 is selected. What is the probability that the sum of the hours is between 1400 and 1500 years? And find the 90th percentile for the sum of 39 years. So, first solution. This solution. Since sample n is equal to 39, is greater than 30, greater than 30, we can apply central limit theorem. Limit theorem. Limit theorem. So that means if you're talking about the sampling distribution, sampling distribution, or probability distribution of sample means, distribution of sample means, of sample means. So according to the central limit theorem, this is a bell shaped distribution. With mean, so this is your sampling distribution. That is, you have X bar on the horizontal axis. And of course, you have probability on the vertical axis. So this mean mu X bar is equal to mu and sigma X bar is equal to sigma divided by square root of N. Now, we have been given mu is equal to 35 and sigma equal to 10. Our sample size is uh, 39. So mu x bar is equal to 35 and sigma x bar is equal to 10 divided by square root of 39. In our calculator, 10 divided by second button, then x square button, which gives me the square root. Inside the square root, I will type 39 and enter. So sigma x bar is equal to, I'll use my calculator, 10 divided by second x square gives me the square root and 39. And the answer is 1.601. 1.601, okay? So now part A says, what is the probability that the sum of the hours is between 1400 and 1500 years? Man, that's a lot of years, okay? But we can calculate, okay? So let me create some space. So let me move this as much up as I can. 1400 and 1500. So 1400 years, 1400 years is equal to 1400 years multiplied by 365 days per year multiply by 24 hours per day. Okay, so this is equal to 1400 times 365 times 24, which is a lot of hours. 1000, not exactly 1000, 1226, 4,000, okay, how many hours, okay, and 1,500 years, 
similarly is 1500 times 365 times 24 and that is equal to 1500 times 365 times 24 is equal to 1, 3, 1, 4, and then there are four zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4 hours. So, remember my sample size is 39. So, for 1400 years, mean is equal to one two two six four three zeros divided by 39 and that is equal to one two two six four zero 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 divided by divided by 39. Wow, that's a lot of years. Is it years or hours that we check on that? Oh, okay, okay, okay. 1400 and 1500 hours. So I didn't have converted, okay? Because if I look in the problem, the mean is uh, 35 years, okay? Mean is 35 years, mean age is 35 years, and some of the ages. So basically I have to get rid of what I did. So pardon me for that. Just get rid of this. I was a little bit taken aback by these numbers. So let me erase all of this. So sum of 39 ages is basically equal to, or 13, sample size is 39. So sum of the hours used by 39 people is, the lower boundary is 1400, okay? So sample mean in this case, the sample mean in the case of 1400 hours, I do not have to convert it to hours or anything, 1400 years. So age, mean age is 35, we know. Okay, so mean age, so if I go back. So now our lower limit is, lower limit is of the sum, of the sum of 39 sample size of 39 39 is 1400 years so uh, it is like that Is fourteen hundred years. So, mean lower value of the sample mean of the sample mean is fourteen hundred divided by thirty nine. Now that makes sense. So fourteen hundred divided by thirty nine is 35.897, yeah, 35.897. And the upper value of the sample mean, upper value of the sample mean, sample mean is equal to 1500 divided by 39 
which is equal to 1500 divided by 39 and that is equal to 38.461 38.462 you might say so now if i create some space by maybe reducing this a little bit and moving this The lower value of the sample means is this, and the upper value is this. So if I draw the diagram again, this is my distribution of the mean times this span, not a hour. So Okay, in, okay. Okay, so the mean is 35 and sigma is equal to, in this case, sigma x bar is equal to mm, 1.601 and we want between 35.897 so this value is 35.897 and the other value this one and this one and this one is 38.462 so we are interested in this area basically so what is the probability x bar? No. What is the probability that 35.897 less than x bar less than 38.462? That is the area in between those two boundaries. So again, second verse CDF. Uh, sorry, just that. Second verse. This will be second verse and we scroll down to normal CDF. Second verse and then you scroll down to normal CDF. Lower is 35.897. Upper is 38.462. Mean is 35. And standard deviation sigma x bar is equal to 1.601. So then our answer becomes second verse. We scroll down to normal CDF. <clears throat> Lower is 35.897. Upper is 38.462. And mean is 35. Standard deviation is 1.601. We go to PEST, enter, and enter, and the answer is 0 0.2724, you might say. So 272, that is the answer for part A. Now, if I move this a little bit down to see what the part B says, Find the 90th percentile for the sum of uh, 39 years, okay? Uh, my sample size is 39. 90th percentile they want to find, they want me to find out, okay? So I'll just need this diagram. So, part B, part B, same diagram. Okay, and I want the 90th percentile. So, I want to find this X bar. Such that this area below this X bar is 0 0.9. So, basically, find X bar for which the area below it 
is 0 0.95, 9, sorry. So in this case, we have to use second verse and then we scroll down to in norm, in norm. And remember in in norm, we have to always type in the area to the left of the unknown x bar in this case, which is 0 0.9, mu is 35, and sigma is 1.601, .01. okay? So second verse, go down to in norm, area is 0 0.9, mean is 35, standard deviation is 1.601, .01. paste, enter, and enter, and X bar comes out the 90th percentile value value for X bar is 37.05. So then what is the sum of the numbers, 39 numbers? For 90th percentile, for 90th percentile, that is the question, okay? So if I create a little bit more space, I'll be able to do this. So, oops, 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 oops. I don't want all that. So, first I will erase these things. So if I may erase this. Okay. So then I go to this new pen and pin this out. Area is 0 0.9, mean is 35, this is 1.601, .01. x bar is, so the 90th percentile value for x bar is 37 point, and I want to find out the sum of the 39 numbers. So I was going to create some space. Okay, get rid of this. So, X bar is equal to 37.05 is equal to sum of the numbers, which we do not know, divided by 39 because n is 39. Then multiply by 39 on both sides. 39 times 37.05 is equal to sum of the X. So sum of X is equal to 39 39 times 37.05, which is 1,444.95. That's the answer for part B. So I'll stop here today. If you have any question, comment, write me a note. I'll respond to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give me a hearty thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And if you like this video, please share this with your friend. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day.